Good morning, beloved. Uh, this morning our devotion was 1 Samuel chapter 13, verses 13 to 15. The Word of God says, You have done a foolish thing, Samuel said. You have not kept the command the Lord your God gave you. If you had, he would have established your kingdom over Israel for all time. But now your kingdom will not endure. The Lord has sought out a man after his own heart and appointed him ruler of his people, because you have not kept the Lord's command. Then Samuel left Gilgal and went up to Gibeah in Benjamin. And Saul counted the men who were with him. They numbered about 600. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we pray that you would add your blessing to this reading of your word. Now, Father, help us to keep your word, to keep your commands, to keep your way. Father, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, there's a verse I love in Revelation. It's Revelation chapter 14, 12. Here's the patience of the saints. Here are they to keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. The patience of the saints is keeping the commands of God and the faith of Jesus. And beloved, Saul should have had patience and waited for God. And he didn't. And he faces a terrible calamity. Samuel says, you've done a foolish thing. Beloved, God speaks to us when we stop being patient, waiting for Him, and try to take charge ourselves. You've done a foolish thing. You're not doing what God wants. Samuel said, You have not kept the command the Lord your God gave you. If you had, He would have established your kingdom over Israel for all time. Beloved, there is a penalty for disobeying the Lord, for not following God's way. Beloved, we face, in the same way, uh, we face problems in our lives we face problems in our marriages and in our with our families because of disobedience to the commands of God if we would simply walk in the way of God things would be so much better but we don't and we need to learn this lesson today begin walking in the word if the word says it I do it if the word says don't do it I don't do it if the, Lord, if the Word encourages me in a certain direction, that's the direction I want to go. Beloved, instead of going our own way and then crying out to God when everything is all wrecked, let's return to God and keep His commandments, keep His Word, keep His statutes, keep His law, keep the faith of Jesus Christ. In every way, let us walk with God. In verse 14, but now your kingdom will not endure. The Lord has sought out a man after his own heart and appointed him ruler over his people because you have not kept the Lord's command. Saul is going to stop being king. David will become king. And even though Saul will rule for 42 years, his family will not rule after him. His line will not endure. And the Savior did not come through the line of Saul, but through the line of David. A man after God's own heart. Beloved, can we see we need to be people after God's heart? Sam, uh, David, By the way, David wasn't perfect in any way, shape, form, or fashion was he perfect. But he sought the Lord and that was enough. He had faith in God and that's what God requires. Not perfection, but faith. God does not require us to be perfect people. Jesus came as the perfect man, God the Savior, to save us because we are not perfect. God asks us to be faithful. Faithful means not just what we believe, but what we do. Do our actions speak to our faith? Or do our actions speak to our lack of faith because we don't trust God and we don't wait for God? You see, faith has to go from just being something in our mind to being all over us. Our actions, our hands, our mouths, our words, our relationships, everything need to be touched by faith. The word of God for today ends with, Then Samuel left Gilgal and went up to Gabeah and Benjamin, and Samuel counted the men with him. With him. They numbered about 600. And beloved, because of the threat of the enemy, because they did not trust in the Lord, he had lost his army of 3,000. He's down to 600. God's going to 
take care of the situation. But it would have been so much better if Saul and the people would have been faithful and trusted in God. And beloved, it's so much better if we will be faithful and trust in God. Let's make that our watchword today. I'm going to be faithful. May God bless you as you go about your day.